everyone, my name is Crystal Montfar and I'm a Senior Delivery Manager at TXI, a strategy and product firm. At TXI, we work side by side with our clients to bring digital experiences to light, solving some of the most complex business problems. And in this dynamic landscape of product development, the speed in which our teams can align and move towards our goals is often a determinant of our success. And when working in consulting, we have to work even faster to ramp up for new clients. So at TXI, it starts with our kickoff process, and the first step to that process is our team agreement. A team agreement provides clarity and fosters empathy and trust, cultivating a shared understanding that will guide the team's growth, actions, and decisions. So today, we'll dive into a custom team agreement I created in Miro to accelerate alignment, ultimately leading us to deliver digital products at speed. So let's get into it. So here's my board, and as you can see, it's a plant theme, which personally resonates with me. Um, it also universally symbolizes growth and harmony, which is perfect for a team agreement. I like to theme my boards to make them a little bit more light, a little bit more fun, uh, gets everyone talking and a little bit more comfortable. Um, and I used Miro AI with background removal to create this board, which was awesome and fun. Um, and so this team agreement board is for new teams and existing teams with new team members join. It's for teams of up to eight people, and it typically takes me about 60 minutes to facilitate from start to finish. However, that is with uh, the fact that I actually send a pre-work survey in advance to get as many responses before the actual call. So I'll fill out this board before the meeting itself, um, giving us the full 60 minutes to discuss and review and um, agree on. Um, and so let's zoom in. So zooming in, you can see the pre-work introduction and agenda. Uh, this is the pre-work I spoke of. It's a quick survey that I sent in Miro. Uh, I have sent it in Google. It just depends on as to what delivery method you want to use, but the idea is to get as much information from each person as possible. Um, I do review uh, the introduction, spend a few seconds just to let people know why they're here. And the agenda. Uh, just to make sure that people are aligned and they know what to expect throughout the call. And I will introduce each section at the start of each section as well. And so let's move to part one. So this is part one, Seeds of Success, which focuses on roles and responsibilities. Uh, I fill this out in advance using the pre-work survey responses um, and using the copy paste from table, turning it into stickies from Miro. Uh, and I give everyone a different color so that we know who's saying what throughout the entire team agreement. On the left, you'll see each person's name with their pronouns, their role, their time commitment, their location and time zone. And then on the right, you'll see a racy matrix, which is pretty typical of projects. Uh, I've just edited the functional areas to match our team needs. Um, and then I filled out as much as I knew on the right-hand side. So during the call, I give uh, this slide maybe about 10 minutes. I give everyone a chance to introduce themselves. And then I'll give everyone some time to review the right-hand side mat uh, racy matrix. I'll set a timer and ask people to edit as they see fit. So if people, notice that they're somewhere they're not supposed to, they can remove themselves. If they are missing in, in one area, they can add themselves. Um, and so I don't spend a whole lot of time here, but the idea is to make sure that we all understand our role and responsibility. All right, so let's move to part two. Root systems and operations. Now this covers the operational dynamics of the team. As you can see, online hours, do not disturb hours, team meeting hours, and meeting access needs. These can change depending on your team needs. Sometimes I'll add tools uh, if we need to figure out what tools we need to use. However, for this project, we already had the tools decided on. And then the bottom section is communication, support, motivation, and feedback. They're individual responses that we will review collectively. It's really nice to see the differences and the commonalities and find those themes within the commonalities so that you can talk about them. Maybe there's a process you can put in place um, by seeing those things uh, in front of you. So I usually spend about 10 minutes here um, giving some folks a talk, uh, add you know some context to their sticky, and maybe decide on, hey, you know what? It looks like everybody wants to use Slack, so let's just make that official. We're going to use Slack from here on out. Um, and so that is the purpose of this, just to make sure we're all on the same page of our root systems and operations. Uh, so let's move to part three. Part three, cultivating a thriving garden. 
this is where you'll spend most of your time. About 30 minutes, more time if you have it. I usually start by introducing each section and the questions below it. And then I ask everyone to grab their sticky and set a timer for about five to seven minutes, depending on the size of your team. I'll ask everyone to fill out uh, as many stickies as possible for each bubble. Once the timer is up, then I'll ask uh, for a few volunteers to help me affinity map themes. Then the real magic happens. That's when the discussion starts and you really wanna get talking about those themes. Um, and so here, uh, using core values as an example, you can see the themes are respect, communicate, collaborate, and support. And so you want to ask for a few volunteers to either add context to their sticky, maybe uh, talk about why this is important to everyone, and then you want to agree on a few foundational items. And so for this team, you can see in the black stickies that we chose respect, collaborate, support, and communicate. Um, I would suggest picking one color for the ending results. Um, and the goal is to do this for each of your uh, bubbles. And so that wraps up part three. Once you have all of this information, now you can really get going and doing creating something really awesome with your team. Um, these are the foundational things that you'll look back on throughout the project and just, you know, when things come up, maybe a conflict, maybe there's a tough decision, um, maybe you need a workshop uh, for ideation and you know someone that's really great in Miro and you want them to uh, create the board. Um, and so this is really helpful to get an understanding of your team and get aligned quickly. Um, and so for next steps after this, I typically add uh, the synthesis of this information or an export uh, to our Notion page. I'll bookmark it to Slack. Um, I'll encourage our team to reference it throughout the project. Um, it really helps to create a safe and harmonious environment. I feel like re uh, really awesome things happen when people feel safe to participate and collaborate. So I hope this not only helps speed up your alignment with your team, but I hope it generates some really great outcomes. So thank you so much for joining me.